All right, so in this video, I have the system of equations a squared minus b squared is equal to 4, as well as a times b is equal to 2. So I'm going to label my first equation, equation 1, my second equation, equation 2. So using these two equations, I want to find the value of a plus b. Now to solve this, I'm going to use my first equation. So a squared minus b squared is equal to 4. And I'm going to take the square root on, or I'm going to square both sides. So I have a squared minus b squared squared is equal to 4 squared. Now this turns into a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 minus 2a squared b squared is equal to 16. Now if I add 2a squared b squared on both sides, these two cancel out and I get a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 is equal to 16 plus 2a squared times b squared. I can rewrite this as a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 is equal to 16 plus 2 times ab squared. Now from here, This is equal to 16 plus 2 times 2 squared because we go over here and we see that a times b is equal to 2. So now this turns into a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 is equal to 16 plus 2 times 4, which is equal to 8. So now a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 is equal to 24. So we can say this is equation number three. Now, if I have something in the form x times y squared, this is equal to x squared plus y squared plus 2xy. So in this case, x is equal to x a squared and y is equal to b squared. So this turns into a squared plus b squared squared is equal to a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 plus 2a squared b squared. And this is equal to a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 plus 2 times ab squared. Now, if we go back over here, we see that a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 is equal to 24. And a squared plus b squared squared is equal to a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 plus 2 times ab squared. Well, a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 is 24. And ab, we already know ab is 2, so 2 squared is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. So this is 24 plus 8 which is equal to 32. So this is equal to 32. And now if I take the square root on both sides, I get a squared plus b squared is equal to square root of 32. And this is positive or negative. Now we can simplify this to And this is equal to positive or negative 4 root 2. So now, we'll call another property a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. And this turns into positive or negative 4 root 2 because we just found out that a squared plus b squared is equal to 4 root 2 plus 2 times AB, which is 2 times 2. So now I get 4 plus or minus 4 root 2, because 2 times 2 is 4. And this gives me two equations. I get A plus B squared is equal to 4 plus plus 4 root 2, and a plus b squared is equal to 4 minus 4 root 2.
So 4 minus 4 root 2 is going to be a negative number. And you can't take this, you can't square a number and make it equal a negative number. So there's no solution to that equation. So this leaves me with a plus b squared is equal to 4 plus 4 root 2. So to solve this, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. So I get a plus b is equal to positive or negative square root of 4 plus 4 root 2, which turns into positive or negative 2 times the square root of 1 plus root 2. So these are my two solutions to this system of equations.